Golf cart accidents um, are very difficult to litigate because there are just so many factors that are involved in the accident itself. First, you have the golf cart itself. Um, if it, the golf cart is negligently designed, you have a product liability problem. And then you have maintenance of the golf cart. A lot of people don't think about this, but a lot of these golf carts, especially the brakes, are not maintained regularly. They're not vehicles. They're not subject to inspection. So a lot of times people will ride these things without actually ever fixing them or maintaining them or tuning them up. So you have the golf cart itself, but then you also have the premises that the golf cart is on. If there is a hazard on the premises and the owner knows about it and doesn't tell the golf cart rider about it, such as a very steep hill or a curve or a lake, then that's also a factor in deciding negligence. Then you have the operation of the golf cart. Did somebody operate the golf cart in a manner that they shouldn't have? Should they have driven the golf cart through that low-hanging branch? Should they have seen or foreseen that a golf cart should not be used off-road like it was? Um, should the golf cart operator have uh, pr had a better lookout when operating the golf cart? And then finally, you have the person who is actually in the golf cart but not driving. If they, for example, like I said earlier, there is often alcohol issues involved in golf cart accidents. If a person gets into a golf cart with somebody that they know has been drinking, and then the person who is drunk causes an accident, they're also liable or have some liability because they got into a golf cart and allowed a person to drive a golf cart who had been drinking. So in sum, there's just a whole lot of factors that go into golf cart cases, and that's what makes them difficult issues to litigate.